Hi everyone, welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Animal Farm, we draw all sorts of animals. So let's draw. Today I'm going to show you how to draw this cute little bee. Let's begin. This is what you'll need to draw a bee today. You'll need a drawing pad or a piece of paper. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, if you have an old dollar store paintbrush that you haven't used to paint with, you can use that to brush off your canvas if you get dust on it or little bits of eraser. And you need some color. We have three colors today. We're going to use yellow, blue, and black. I'm using coloring pencils today, but you could use crayons or markers. I'm also going to use a black thin tip marker. But if you don't have one, you can use a black coloring pencil. Okay, let me just clear this area and we can begin. Let's take our pencil and start drawing our bee. And just in case you want to know how big I'm drawing my bee, you see my glasses? I'm going to draw little Miss Bee quite big on my page. You don't want to draw too small because we're going to be putting in some detail and you want to make sure that you can see everything. So let's start with her head and she's a lady. <laughs> we're going to draw a circle. just like that. And on top of her head, she's got antenna. Antennae is the way to say it properly, but I'll just say she has two antennas. <laughs> Watch how I do this. It's a line with a little swirl. Okay, and she's got two of them, so we wanna put one on the other side. A line with a little swirl. Okay, now for her body, watch how I do this. It starts off as an oval, kind of an egg shape, but at the bottom it comes to a point. Same thing on the other side. Starts off as an oval, but then we turn it into a point. That's her stinger. Now we're gonna give her some wings. She's got two wings, one on each side, but we're gonna divide them up. One part of the wing is gonna be nice and big, just like that. And then we're going to, where we stopped this wing, we're gonna bring out another little oval shape, but smaller. Just like that. I'm gonna move my page up a little bit there so you can see everything I'm doing. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. She's got a big wing here. Okay. And where we ended this wing, we'll put our pencil down there and we'll start a smaller wing that goes down a little bit. Okay, now let's put some stripes on little Miss B here. I'd say about here, let's just draw a little round shape. And we're going to do the same thing about, hmm, halfway up there and just a little higher another round shape because this here is going to be black this is going to be black and we're going to put one more at the top about here and 
and another one just above and this is going to be black also the rest of her body is going to be yellow you can give her one stripe two stripes how many you want but make sure the bottom of her body here is black too all right so let's give her a nice face let's draw some round eyes this time usually i draw egg shape eyes but today i'm doing round eyes two round eyes okay now let's put a little round circle in the middle those will be her eyes and we're going to give her a cute little smile with some cheeks. That's how you give cheeks. Okay. All right. So I'll give you a few moments if you want to catch up. We're going to start by coloring in with yellow. So take your yellow coloring pencil. We're going to color in her whole head except for her eyes. If you can be careful not to color in her eyes, that would be great. So let's begin coloring. And remember what I always say, press very lightly. I have a little dust there. I love using my brush. <laughs> Press very lightly if you're using coloring pencils because tell me why. There's two reasons. Because you don't want to break the tip. And you don't want to tire out your hand. If you've watched my drawing lessons, you know this, right? And what else do you know if you've watched my drawing lessons and you're using colored pencils? Turn your pencil once in a while. Color, 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 color. Turn. Color, 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 color. Turn. Do you remember why we do this? I'll let you think about it while I'm being very careful not to color in her eyes. We turn our pencil so that we don't wear down the tip all on one side and we don't have to sharpen it as much. Turn. Turn your pencil. Turn your pencil. Okay, I filled in her entire face, but as I always say, you can color it in a second time to give it a brighter yellow color. And what's this called? Putting on a second layer, a second layer of color. It makes the yellow in this case much brighter. That sound you may have heard, that was my dog Jack. He just woke up from a nap and he decided to shake. <laughs> I love my pets so much. 
Let's be careful around the eyes. Don't forget to turn your pencil. And don't press down too hard. Jack just woke up. Now he's going to go and drink some water. <laughs> you might hear him. Yep, he's drinking his water. Can you see the difference between where I put two layers of yellow and where I only put one? You see how much more yellow it is there? It's a brighter color. I love putting two layers on all of the time, at least two layers. Sometimes you can only really put two or three layers on because you can't put any more color on. You've reached your limit of color. But always try to put two layers to make it a lot brighter. While Jack is drinking, I'm going to show you a photo here. This is Jack, my hound dog. I knitted that sweater for him, by the way. <laughs> He's sitting with my cat. My cat's name is Baby Oscar. And as you can see, they're both lying down on a pillow that we call Busy Bee. <laughs> they love Busy Bee. Okay. Now, if you haven't done this already, I want you to take your pencil and I want you to just put a little mark at the bottom here. And if you did two stripes, I want you to do what I did and put just a little mark inside the stripes. And wherever there's no mark, I want you to fill in with yellow. Okay, just so you don't get mixed up about the stripes. So let's continue. We'll fill in a little bit of yellow here on her body. Don't forget to turn your pencil. And I'm already putting on a second layer. I'm coloring it in twice because I have such a small little space here. It goes pretty fast. This area too is going to be yellow. Turn your pencil. It's almost bee season. Right now I'm recording this video. We're in April of this year. And I don't know what it's like where you are, but all of my snow is melting. I am so happy. <laughs> I love spring, summer, and fall. But Sometimes I get tired of winter. Now I'm going to go back and put on a second layer. I'm going to color it in a second time. Not pressing very hard at all. And I'm turning my pencil once in a while. happy with that. Now the last little bit of yellow is going to be this area here. So I'm going to fill all of this in with yellow. I'm going to turn my pencil. I'm not going to press too hard and I'm going to apply a second layer when I'm done. Okay?
The only thing I think that I like about winter is that there aren't any bugs. <laughs> I think you can agree that having no bugs is wonderful. <laughs> but bees are good bugs to have. I know that some people are aller allergic to them. I used to have a dog, her name was Charlie. She was a husky, here's a picture of her. She used to be allergic to bee stings and her face would get all swollen and we'd have to give her medicine to help her. But bees are so good for the garden because they go to each plant and they bring pollen with them. And pollen is the thing that some plants need to grow flowers and fruits and vegetables. So it's always good to see a bee in your garden. Just maybe stay away from it. All right. I've been talking and talking and talking and I've been applying my second layer of color, turning my pencil. How is your bee coming along? Are you having fun? I'm having a great time here. I love drawing. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a moment there if you need to catch up. Okay, now we're going to take our black coloring pencil. And everywhere where you marked it out, I want you to fill that in with black. See how I'm turning my pencil? I'm remembering. Especially for this pencil, it's so short. It doesn't look it. I'm sure you've seen these before if you've seen my videos, but for those who haven't, this is called a pencil extender. When you have a tiny little pencil like this, don't throw it out. Even if it's hard to, to use, you can put it in a pencil extender, tighten it, and use it like it was a long pencil. It's really neat. I figure if you can sharpen it, if it fits in a sharpener, you can still use it. <laughs> if it's too small to fit in the sharpener, maybe it's time to say goodbye to that pencil. But I like to use things as much as I can. I don't like to buy lots and lots of stuff. So now I'm applying a second layer of black. And I'm just going to go down and I'm going to do the same thing here and the same thing here. I'm going to color it in with black, pressing very lightly and turning my pencil once in a while. And when I'm done coloring it in, I'm going to color it in a second time, applying a second layer of black. You're going to get tired of me saying this, aren't you? <laughs> I just want you to learn lots of techniques and tips to make your drawing more fun and more vibrant. Okay, so now I, this is not the same See, this one's much darker because this has the second layer. So I'm going to go back and put a second layer on there. Turning my pencil. Okay. 
All right. There, I think I'm okay with that. Now I'm gonna go down to the bottom of her body or where her stinger is, and I'm gonna fill that in as well. I've never been stung by a bee, I'm so happy to say. I have been stung by a wasp though. Oh, I don't like wasps, those are awful. I don't know why they exist. <laughs> I don't know what their purpose is. I'm applying my second layer now. But I live in the mountains now and I don't see wasps very often. But when I lived in the city, ooh, they were bad there. They used to hang around the garbage cans in the city. That was awful. That's how I got stung when I was walking by one time. One just flew out of a garbage pile and just landed on my hand and stung me. It hurt so much. Okay, she's looking pretty good, isn't she? If you need to catch up, I'll give you just a moment. Okay, so the last color I have is my blue color here. This is gonna be the color of her wings, all four of her wings. And I want it to be light. Do you see how I'm holding my pencil? Sometimes you hold it like this, right? Because you, you're like writing. But if you hold it between your fingers, like this, it sort of forces you to have a very gentle touch. You can't really press hard when you're holding your pencil like this. So I, I hold my pencil like this a lot. If I'm doing large areas, sometimes if you wanna get into corners, you have to hold it closer to the tip, you know? But most of the time, I hold it like this. So it, it kind of forces me to apply the color very gently. For the wings, I'm not going to apply a second layer. Like I said, I want it to be a very light blue. So I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna continue and do the others. I'm forgetting to turn my pencil. Are you forgetting? <laughs> I love honey too. That's one thing that bees do very, very well. They produce delicious, sweet honey. Have you ever seen the TV show, Mr. Dress Up? That was a show when I was a kid. I don't even know if it's it's still on TV, but I think it was a Canadian show. When I was a kid, Mr. Dress Up. He had a song and I'm gonna try to remember it. It was about bees. Don't forget to turn your pencil. It went something like, never bother with the bee. He has got a stingery, <laughs> something like that. 
I don't remember the next part, but at the end he he said something like, it is best that you leave him alone. <laughs> he has got a stingery. I always remember that song that Mr. Dress Up sang. All right. I like that. I like her wings. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. I hope you're happy with your bee's wings. So we're going to do one last thing. If you have a thin marker, you can take it out and we're going to outline her eyes and her smile and probably her antennas too. If not, you can use your black coloring pencil and if you don't have either you can just do another outline with a regular pencil. So let's start with her antenna and we're just going to go over the line that we already drew in pencil. It just makes it stand out a little bit more. All right, nice big antennas. Let's do her eyes, outlining her eyes and her little pupil that we can color in right away with black. Okay, let's do her other eye. The little round pupil and you can color that in with black. And because she's a Miss B, little Miss B, let's give her some eyelashes. Make her pretty. You can always give her eyelashes on the bottom too. <laughs> now let's outline her smile. And her cheeks. There. Oh, isn't that cute? I love this bee. That was a lot of fun. That really was a lot of fun. Now remember, what comes next? Sign your work. Always take pride in what you've created. Put your name on your work of art and be proud of yourself. Well, I'm really, really happy with my bee today. I hope that you're happy with yours and that you enjoyed this drawing lesson, my friends. We'll see you next time on Animal Farm. Thanks for watching. Bye.